Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one more important topic from acids and bases. Right? That is pH scale. Right, okay. Then pH scale is introduced by Sorensen. pH scale is introduced by the Sorensen. Right? The what is pH scale? Okay, what is pH scale, sir? A scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration. A scale is measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution is called pH scale. With this scale, we can calculate, we can measure the H plus ions in a solution. Okay. In a pH, it indicates in a pH, a P stands proteins. Okay, a protein in German language, uh, the P a protein. Protein means a power. Right? H plus H stands for H plus ions. Okay, that means uh, we generally we call a power of H plus H plus ions. Okay, right. Then here this P S scale indicates the 14 numbers 1 to 14 okay 1 to 14 numbers right that uh, means like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay here the pH indicator is indicates 7 the number 7 that means it is a neutral substance neutral substance means it is salt neutral means salt only no right and if the number is given below the 7 if the number is given uh, below the 7 this uh, indicates the acid pH value is below the 7 those are all called as what nana? acid right if pH value is more than the 7 if pH value is more than the 7 that substances are basic in nature okay they are in acidic in nature if below the 7 pH value is below the 7 this is called acidic in nature then if they have uh, above the uh, 7 they indicate what basic in nature okay right and here we have uh, some uh, uh, observations I have given on the board, right? Then uh, these observations based on the uh, testing uh, by the pH scale, pH indicator, okay? Right? Take a small quantity of HCl. How to do this activity, sir? In the sense, then take a uh, test tube and take small amount of HCl and you can dip the scale pH scale that indicator that uh, pH indicator in the solution HCl then it consists of different different colors right when we dip then the pH uh, indicator shows the red color okay when we I dipped in uh, HCl when we dip in uh, HCl then pH uh, indicator shows the red color and approximate pH value is 3 that means it acidic in nature now this is in acidic in nature okay acidic in nature next uh, I have taken acidic acid CH3 COOH CH3 COOH then its approximate pH value is given as 4.7 4.7 then it is acidic in nature and in our last class uh, we discussed one activity brightness of a uh, bulb is decreases uh, in uh, when we have taken a solution it's a CH3 CH3 COOH solution when we have taken CH3 COOH solution the brightness of bulb is decreases when we have taken HCl brightness is more because of see here approximate pH value then the pH value is for HCl is 3 right then uh, 
for acetic acid approximately 4.7 in between 4 and then near by 5 here in the, the in the uh, scale then if the pH is approximately 1 or 2 or 3 they consider as strong acid right if they are in between this they uh, weak acid it shows weak acid and as well as then uh, the values are near uh, 8 uh, 9 uh, for the basis then that uh, are called as a uh, weak basis if the value pH value of the given base is near 12 or 13 or 14 it indicates the strong base right it is a strong acid a strong base that's why here it's a, a strength is less acetic acid strength is less we have already discussed in our last class the strength of acid or strength of the basis depends on number of H plus ions or OH minus ions in per unit volume right in that means uh, here H plus ions are less that means uh, the if uh, their uh, pH value is indicates at a uh, 1 or 2 at this case they have high H plus ions then when we are going towards uh, uh, then increasing the number of pH scale while going uh, from acid to base at scale if you are going in this direction the H plus ion concentration of H plus ions are decreasing when we are going right so it then OH minus ions can increases got it uh, right from here from the scale if you are going in this direction if number is increasing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that means the H plus ion sort decreases when pH number is increases H plus ions are decreasing and OH minus ions are increases got it all right then here ammonium chloride then uh, when you use that uh, pH indicator it shows light green light green then 6 right approximate uh, pH value is uh, given uh, 6 then salt that's salt sir below the 6 it may acid no that salt contains an acidic in nature okay right and uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate when I dip, it gives a dark green that indicators gives dark green then approximate pH value is 9 and nature of substance uh, mild non corrosive base in this nature right when NaOH sodium hydroxide it gives a deep blue color deep blue color then this value is 14 this value is 14 and uh, that means it is a strong base right if you use NaOH to test its strength by using the bulb right bulb is glows more brighter with the NaOH solution than other than the comparing to other than bases why because it has stronger on 14 value I said no if a number is increasing a basic nature is increases right in distilled water distilled water it gives green green means 7 7 means I said neutral this is in neutral okay and uh, coffee if you uh, dip uh, uh, then pH indicator uh, in coffee then it shows the parrot green color of parrot green then red to different different colors it shows red to different different colors okay then it gives a, a parrot green then it is mild acidic in nature it pH value is 5 pH value is 5 and uh, tap water if you dip in tap water it gives a green color then acidic uh, uh, then it pH value is a uh, 6.8 pH value is 6.8 then uh, it is neutral like that you can test uh, uh, some more uh, different different uh, solutions you can take different different solutions and uh, test the pH value of uh, a given uh, substances okay with the help of pH indicator okay right next we are going to discuss importance of uh, a pH okay now importance of pH in everyday life all right plants and animals pH sensitive okay 
if rain water's ph is decreases to 5.6 okay rain water's ph value is decreases than the 5.6 then it causes a acidic rains it called as acidic rains acidic rain means that rain water which contains the ph value is less than 5.6 okay then when that uh, water that acidic rain water flows in a rivers flows in the rivers then it causes harmful to the plants and uh, animals which are using that uh, water okay that means we came to know that uh, plants and animals also sensitive for ph value got it right the next uh, ph changes if ph change causes of tooth decay right our uh, enamel of a teeth enamel of teeth contains calcium phosphate okay calcium phosphate our enamel contains teeth enamel contains calcium phosphate it is an a, a strongest material in our body okay strongest material in our body it will not dissolve in water it will dissolve in water but uh, if ph of our mouth is decreases than 5.5 if it is decreases uh, less than 5.5 then our calcium then enamel can may get damaged right we know that uh, then uh, bacteria which is present in our uh, in our mouth uh, releases the acids to dilute the substances which are present in our mouth okay remaining food materials like uh, glucose or other food materials to digest it then it releases uh, our bacteria bacteria can releases uh, that uh, uh, acid then if that acid is uh, then decreases uh, the ph value is less than 5.5 it causes to damage our teeth it is better after eating after eating we have to brush with the paste okay then the paste contains basic in nature the paste contains the bases then that base uh, reacts with this acid and it neutralizes okay the neutralization reaction is takes place when we brush it with a paste okay and next ph in our digestive system in our stomach to digest the food the hcl is releases okay hydrochloric acid is releases to digest the food it is not harmful it is not damages the our stomach right when a person is suffering with the indigestion problem with the suffering with the indigestion problem more amount of acid can releases more amount of acid can releases then it causes the irritation right then in such case we use the we use the antacids antacids then antacids contains uh, it is in basic in nature it contains what the milk of magnesia then magnesium hydroxide okay magnesium hydroxide present in antacids then it is in basic in nature then Uh, the neutralization reaction is takes place when excessive of uh, hcl is releases that means when uh, then indigestion is uh, indigestion problem we use antacids to decrease the acidic nature uh, in a uh, stomach and neutralization reaction is takes places okay right next ph of soil right uh, the plants can grow at a, a sufficient ph value the growth uh, sufficient growth depends on ph value of soil right uh, then how can we test the ph value of soil sir simple take a uh, uh, 2 grams of soil from the field and uh, 
in a beaker take 2 grams of uh, soil and add uh, water to it and uh, stir it and uh, filter the solution and take into the beaker sorry into the test tube the filtered solution and then take uh, into the test tube and uh, dip the pH indicator and it gives the pH value of a uh, uh, soil and based on the pH uh, value of the soil there we can uh, use the uh, fertilizers to decrease the uh, pH values in such cases okay to increase or decrease got it then this is our class thank you